So today I'm talking about a P1361 Honda code. Uh, it's an intermittent interruption in TDC1 sensor one. So this is a quick overview of what it is, what causes it, and how you can go about fixing it. So what is a P1361? Well, it's, it's basically the engines having problems finding TDC, which is top dead center. And this is used for timing so that it knows when to fire the spark and the gas. So if the onboard computer can't time the engine, then there's a problem. And that's what it's saying basically is, you know, we, we can't find the sensor that's given us the information for TDC. So what is this sensor? Well, some people call it the TDC sensor, but it, it's the camshaft position sensor uh, is the technical name. And it could be swapped out fairly easily. It depends on your engine, the year of your Honda where it's going to be located at. You'll have to Google that, Google your, your, your Honda, the year and sensor location. Look at some images and things like that, or some videos if you have, if they have them. And the usual fix for this is just to replace the sensor. Now there can also be in the wiring. That's something to always keep in mind. If you, if you're not getting good voltage there, if you've got an open or a short on the wiring harness or in the wiring anywhere, then it'll cause the same problem as a bad sensor. It could even be frying the sensor. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's not so common, but it is, it does happen. Usually it's a bad sensor, then it'll be the wiring, but be sure to check that wiring first, at least examine it. Be sure that the connections are good. Be sure if you've got a meter, be sure it's not shorted to ground or anything like that. It doesn't have an open and then go ahead and, and either test or replace that sensor. You can't test it if you wanted to. A lot of people just, replace it since it's a low cost item. I'm going to jump over here on Amazon and give you an idea how much they cost. Uh, basically they're really low cost here. You got $11, $34, $14, as you can see. I have, uh, in some cases I have swapped these out and the problem doesn't go away because these sensors sometimes are, are not good. So in reality, while, uh, if you do buy online, be sure you buy something that is a known good manufacturer. Be care, be wary of these third party ones because I've, I've installed some and, and thought it was new, we got into the wiring and then I come back and that, that sensor was bad because I got a low cost third, third party one, but like doorman's good. That's a known good one. You, you can just go to an auto parts store and usually you won't have any issues uh, as that if you're afraid of that, that way you could just bypass any possible low cost third party ones that are, are not manufactured well. I don't know why, but I've had that problem a few times, but basically get a sensor, swap it out or test it before you swap it out, check the wiring and that'll solve like 90% of the problems right there. It could be something else. It could, it could possibly be a problem with the, with the cam, which is not so common. Uh, it could be uh, the onboard computer could, could have gone bad. It possibly the timing chain slipped. So th these are some other things that, that could also possibly be a problem. And those, those aren't too common. They do happen, especially as engines age, you know, different things happen. That's not that you can't exactly predict. So it's something to keep in mind, but the, u the usual cause of this error is to replace that sensor and check the wiring. So that's basically it. If, if you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.